Hey everybody, Len with Homeschool on the Range. I'm at uh, the range on Father's Day, and what a great Father's Day for me because I get to shoot the Chiapa Rhino in 357 and 38 Special. I'm going to be shooting uh, Fiocchi 357 mag rounds. And this one has, uh, this is a five inch barrel, and the thing with the Chiapa is that the barrel is at the bottom of the cylinder, and this is supposed to help with recoil. Um, so I, I just want to shoot it, give you my first impressions. I've never shot this weapon before. I'm at Flingers and Zingers in, uh, um, in Wausau, Wisconsin. It's Father's Day, and uh, let's load it up. Let's see what it's all about here. So some of my first impressions with the gun, we're going to move the rest of our armory out of the way here while I load it. My first impression, I've always loved the look of the Chiapa Rhino, and I've never seen one in person. So seeing it in person has really not changed my mind. I still think it's one of the coolest guns ever. And um, here's the 357 Fiocchi. And uh, we're going to put six in the chamber here. Not in the chamber, we're putting six in the cylinder. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what, having held it, I love the grip of it, I love the look of it, I mean, it's just a really cool gun. Now, this is double action, which means I can cock it, and then, you know, bring the trigger back to fire and everything, so, um, so yeah, let's see how it shoots. If you look down range here, I have a heavily armed squirrel that's a threat to my life, so... Uh, looks like he's carrying something like a Glock. So I gotta take out this squirrel. So Chloe, if you wanna take the camera on the other side to get a good angle of the shooting, I'll let you know what I think after I shot it. Uh the first and ears on here. Let's, uh, let's see how this thing fires. Kill the squirrel. That's it. All right, come back over this way. Let's bring the squirrel home and see how we did shooting here. All right, so I was aiming, whoops. I was aiming right at the number eight. And as you can see, that 10 yards, I had a, I definitely had a, a little bit of a Stray here, but I was shooting left as a whole, which kind of tends to be my tendency anyhow. But let me tell you about the gun. Chloe, put it on the gun, please. So, the whole thing with the recoil, with the with the um, with the barrel being at the bottom of the cylinder, um, it's supposed to reduce recoil, and boy, does it. This thing is one of the loudest guns I've ever fired for a handgun. It's incredibly loud, even with my ear protection. Huge fireball, but the recoil was no more than my Arcus 9mm. I'm incredibly, incredibly impressed by that. Um, but what a fun, fun gun. Uh, it feels really good. When I was shooting, I could feel it kind of pressing back into the meat of my hand. And as you can see, because of the size of my hands, the grip doesn't come all the way down. And I could feel it pushing right in to my hand here. It wasn't an upward buck, as most handguns tend to be. It was a back. So, Kiapa claims, that's their claim to this, that this gun uh, puts recoil right, right. And, and the reason for this is so now I can keep the, um, keep it on target and keep shooting. Uh, rather than having it come up and having to gather my sight picture again. I think they've accomplished that here, so I am super, super impressed. I love this gun. This one retails at about $1,050 at the gun shop I'm at. Uh, will I buy it? I kind of doubt it, at least not today, but it's Father's Day and my wife could maybe be convinced. So what an amazing, 
fun, beautiful, cool looking firearm. The Rhino 50DS 357 Magnum with a five inch barrel. Awesome gun with just the first six shots gone through it. This is a gun I would recommend highly, highly. So thanks for watching the video guys. Please like and subscribe and share this. Y'all have a happy Father's Day. Thanks. Okay, so as I was saying, the trigger is really heavy when the, when, the, um, when the hammer isn't cocked back. So you have to give it quite a snap. So those would be, I would say, the only two downsides to this. But I think as with any gun, practice and you will find yourself to be more comfortable with it. All right, thanks for watching this video, guys. Share, like, and subscribe, and we are out of here.